I'm here today to make an Unreal Engine tutorial. Um, it was actually requested by a commenter, subscriber, on my channel. And it's going to be when you walk up to a trigger and you and then it pops up a little message on the screen, press this button to continue. So yeah, we're gonna just make we're gonna make a flash file, an SWF file. I already have made one. Um and yeah. So we're gonna be using a flash file. Uh first you're gonna go into your map and add a trigger. Uh, the trigger could be the any trigger, the one that you want to use to select something. And I'm going to go into here, press the local match, just to take its place. So I know where it is. Alright, so. Local match. That's the match. Alright, so. We'll grab this. Now we're going to select our trigger. We're going to go into Kismet. Right click. Go to trigger. Touched. We're going to go down under secret event. We're going to set that to zero. Next, we're going to right click new action GFXCY. Open GFX movie. We're going to go to new action uh, GFXCY. Close GFX movie. Close goes to untouched. Touched goes to in on open. We're going to right click new variable layer layer. Put the red layer on our two out layer. Now we're going to outside of that. Once we're out here, we're going to go import, import your FLA. That's from a previous remake, of, I mean, previous make of tutorial that went over time and also failed. So, let's see what we got other than the various Just this. All right, so let me see what this looks like. So this is going to be just an objective from Um, so you can take some of the objectives for the objectives. Control and copy. Now I'm going to go back to here. I have to, have to, have to put this in the flash section of the install of the movie. Otherwise, it will not be there. On UDK engine, flash, nice stuff. Let's put this under UDK HUD. Let's put it under UDK Paste. Copy the name of that. Put it in the folder. Paste the folder in there. Paste that in there. Copy, paste, this. Alright, so there's our two folders. Again, for now, this should go. Now we're going to import this and just say under whatever folder it is. And import fail. What is this? Well, I think this is the actually the problem with this new engine. I don't like it right now, the November build. Has errors. Let's see if we got it under an older version. So let's go under the viral version. That's easy. I already have those imported. Let's see how this works. Sorry. So what time are we up to? Four minutes, five seconds. Better than 12, 13 minutes that I was up to on the other one. 
to watch uploads that are 15 or 20 minutes on YouTube. I still want to keep this short. So let's see if this opens. There we go. Alright, file. Alright, so as this is opening, check something. I'm gonna do this next one. I don't really care about that. Content checking. Um, alright, so. X. Existing map. I'm going to do a. Drive. August 2011. Maps, viral maps, on demand select, pick up map that I made in the other version. That's with the trigger and stuff. Is it really gonna crash on me? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna pause this and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna import this. Objective 1. Folder and it imports. I'm going to save this folder and also because I had them previously uploaded into it, imported into it. I'm going to use Objective One from the old version of that. I'm going to select the SWF and it automatically imports the texture, the PNG, and we're going to Kismet. Much break click and new after variable blah blah blah. So I can push after. We're not actually no 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 no. Under this, we're going to under your click here, and I'm going to make it just do that. Leave it the same. Actual er multiplayer. All right, so we're good there. Now, gonna go right click. On this, and create new object variable, and we're going to keep that nothing, and we're going to connect those two. So now, when we go and we play this game, I use a tree instead of a flag. When we do this, we're going to walk up, and on our screen pops up this the thing, and we walk away. It goes off. I walk up, it has a pop up. And we walk up. So that works. Alright. So, this is the basic Kismet setup. This can also be attached to an action that you want to set off with that trigger. Actually, we would actually put two triggers and then one would say, like, touched like or used and you have them on top of each other overlapping so yeah that's the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed especially the person who just subscribed for this video itself i am glad i can help you and i hope you get the morals out of this tutorial thank you and have a nice day p.s subscribe